Yo! So in this video my camera and my lens was making an autofocus sound throughout the whole video. I don't know why, so I'm re-recording with an actual microphone. So in this first clip here, I'm saying that in this video I have a pair of sandals on my hands. Just trying to make a funny joke. Haha, -ha, because I literally have a pair of sandals on my hands. Very funny. And then I go on to talk about the fact that it's kind of weird that I'm dropping a sandal video in the winter time, but I've actually seen a surprising amount of YouTubers dropping sandal videos um, during winter or just recently. So that's how I justify that. And also I actually filmed this uh, styling footage back in May and I never ended up using it. So I just decided to use it in this video. Then I'm just making a quick overview of the Sentinel. Um, I got the mini size 44, which is a US 10. I decided to size down one size, which I'm happy I did because these run big. Um, I talked about the color, you know, I could obviously see that it's a dark gray colorway. I bought them for $90. I think that's about 20% off. And I've had these since March and gotten to wear them a bit. I've worn them in the forest, in the city, and I've even ran in these to catch a train multiple times, which I don't recommend at all. So I was actually planning on doing a voiceover for this video anyways, for the styling recording of the outfits anyways. So here I'm just showing off uh, the pieces that I'm going to be styling. In uh, the first outfit, it's just a basic white t-shirt and a black pair of pants and both are from Koss. This outfit is the most basic out of the five, which uh, you can obviously see. It's just, you know, the plain white t-shirt, uh, the pair of pants, which are kind of a flowy light pair of pants. They have some slight pleats in them, but it's not very easy to see in the video. Um, they're kind of cropped too. This outfit especially would benefit from using some accessories like, you know, rings, a tote bag, a uh, crossbody bag, a hat, anything really would make this outfit look better. I could also tuck into a t-shirt, but I just decided to keep it real plain. I actually don't use any accessories at all in this video, but now just keep that in mind that I do recommend accessorizing at least sometimes, especially with an outfit that is as simple as this one. Then for outfit number two, I've got the same pair of pants, but I've got a different top. So this top is a short sleeve shirt um, it's from a brand called Samsa Samsa, which is a Danish brand, and I don't know how to pronounce that name in English. Oh, and I also got a white pair of socks on in this one. So, yeah, this is pretty much just a dressed up version of the first outfit. Um, if you're doing something more classy or you just want to look a bit more on point, something like this is quite a simple change. So yeah, just to show off how you can easily change up your outfit and how a pair of sandals can also be dressed up a bit. Obviously you can also tuck in the shirt just to make it even more formal if that's what you want to do. In outfit number three, I've got this flannel shirt um, in a mustard yellow colorway. It's from the brand Menace and I paired it with a black denim pant from Junkyard and a black pair of socks and then uh, just the same white t-shirt as earlier. So this third outfit is obviously quite different from the two first ones. It's got more of a streetwear vibe to it um, and it pretty much dresses down the sandals even more than the two first ones which it kind of dressed them up a bit more. And wearing them with a black pair of socks like I do here kind of makes them a bit more reminiscent of a sneaker because I feel like the colors of the sandal and the sock just blends a bit more. So if you see it from a distance, it might be harder to differentiate between them and it might make the sandal look more like a sneaker, which I feel like kind of fits this look a bit better. I could also wear this outfit with a black t-shirt, but I feel like, especially for the summer season, when they will usually wear a pair of sandals, the white t-shirt just makes the outfit pop a bit more. In outfit number four, I am again kind of dressing the sandals up a bit more. 
And this is an outfit that I don't think you would usually see worn with sandals, but I think it works surprisingly well. Um, it shows off how, you know, just a regular pair of Birkenstocks can be quite versatile and also work in a lot of different situations during the summer. So here I'm wearing, you know, the shirt, which is a bit more colorful and fun, together with a pair of suit trousers from United Arrows and the same white t-shirt as earlier, then the white socks and, you know, the sandals at the bottom. I do think the black details in the shirt here makes the outfit look a bit more cohesive because the sandals are pretty much black themselves. I do end up putting on a belt here as well, which again helps the outfit become a bit more cohesive as you can see the black color kind of repeated itself throughout the outfit. Then last and probably also least, outfit number five, where I'm wearing a black crew neck from Nike layered with a white t-shirt, then a beige pair of pants from Winwin, and a white pair of socks. So this outfit looks like something your dad would probably put on to go barbecue with the boys. I mean, it's pretty basic, nothing that really stands out in this outfit, except for maybe the silhouette, which I think is kind of interesting when you layer a bit of a chunkier crew neck with a slimmer pair of shorts like this. Um, it doesn't become completely imbalanced, but I don't know, it's something about the long sleeves and the chunkiness of the sweater with the shorts, which, I don't know, it kind of works, but I'm not sure about the socks here. Um, if the white socks were the right choice, maybe a black pair or even no socks would be better. Also, I think I tried to kind of make the layering of the white t-shirt seem more apparent. But the sweatshirt is so long that you can really see the white t-shirt peek through. So that didn't really help. But I guess if you like more of a normcore kind of style, then this is going to be the outfit that you'll gravitate the most towards. Now at the end I want to show off how some other people also style uh, the Birkenstocks or a Birkenstock type of sandal. Because I feel like my styling was kind of subpar and a bit lacking so here are some alternative stylings. This first one here is probably the most similar to my third outfit. And this outfit is styled by Jacob Keller. And he's wearing the Rick Owens Birkenstocks with the black fur on them. And he also paired them with a black pair of socks and then a gray pair of denim with this uh, crop knitwear sweater layered with a white t-shirt. Again, I feel like pairing a black pair of sandals with a black pair of socks kind of make them more reminiscent of a sneaker and this sandal especially is quite loud compared to a lot of other Birkenstock sandals because of the hair on them so I feel like pairing them with a black pair of socks kind of makes them more toned down if you wore them with white socks or without socks they would catch a lot more attention than they do in this outfit which I I think just plays down the whole look a bit, but makes it look very relaxed and cool. The second look here is by Lucas Abbott, and he obviously dresses up the silhouette even more. So he's wearing this cocky pair of Birkenstocks paired with a cocky blazer and this brown green pair of trousers and a white t-shirt. So obviously because of the blazer and partially because of the pants, he's definitely dressing up a pair of sandals in this look. And also the white socks and the white t-shirts kind of again with the green colors mixed up it a bit more cohesive. He's also got some accessories on with this ring, a chain and an eagle in his hand which obviously all helps elevate the outfit itself. Here we have Johnson Gold wearing a more colorful outfit with a white pair of Birkenstocks paired with white socks, a white shorts and cream colored shirt but that also has a lot of colors on it together with a pair of sunglasses, a colored beanie and he even has jewelry on. So this outfit makes it look a lot more summery. Um, he's putting on a lot more accessories here just to make his outfit more interesting to look at in general. So yeah this really shows how you can incorporate a pair of sandals into a more fun look. 
The last outfit is probably the best style one out of all of them. It's styled by me, on me. So here you can see that this outfit is pretty reminiscent of the first one. But here I've actually put on a graffiti tee. I've tucked it into the pants. I put a belt on and even a hat. So this is probably what I would usually wear compared to the first outfit where it's just more fun to look at and more interesting as well. So that was just a few examples of how you can style a Birkenstock pair of sandals. In general, I just think that a pair of sandals are more versatile than most people think. And you don't have to just wear it on hot summer days. You can wear it in spring or even fall if the weather isn't too bad. And you can dress it up, you can dress it down. The only thing is I'd probably try to stay away from wearing very skinny or very wide pairs of pants. Also, quick mention, in my last video I got 45 views. Whoa! Half of which are probably myself. But I also got 3 subscribers. One of which I know is myself. But that's still pretty cool. So let's see if we can hit 5 subscribers by the next video. That would be very cool. Thank you for watching. Woo!